In today's video, we'll be required to find the value of a and b, given that 9 to power a minus 4 to power b is equal to 17. We want to um, understand that for us to have 9 to power a minus 4 to power b equals to 17, that means that 9 to power a is greater than 4 to power b because what we we'll have is a positive integer or a positive whole number now this expression is difference of two squared so let us express it as difference of two squared we have 3 to power 2 to power a minus 2 to power 2 to power b is equal to 17 now, if we remember there is a law in indices that says a to power n bracket power m is the same thing as a to power m to power n or rather this uh, multiplication is commutative yes multiplication is commutative and that is why i can interchange these numbers so applying this here i have 3 to power a to power 2 minus 2 to power b to power 2 will give me 17. Now let me express this as difference of 2 squared. Let's remember a to power 2 minus b to power 2 is a plus b in a bracket and a minus b in another bracket. So I will express this one like this. That becomes 3 to power a plus 2 to power b in a bracket. In another bracket, we'll have 3 to power a minus 2 to power b. Is equal to 17 now 17 is a prime number and being a prime number it has just two factors one and itself and 1 times 17 is also the same thing as 17 times 1 I will express 17 as 17 times 1 so I can equate each bracket to 17 and to 1 also if I add an even number to an odd number I will have an odd number and if I subtract an even number from an odd number I will have also an odd number 3 to power anything is always odd and 2 to power any number is always even so equating them I have 3 to power a plus 2 to power b is 17 and 3 to power a minus 2 to power b is 1 because 17 times 1 is 17. This will now be equation 1 and this will be equation 2. I will have to solve 1 and 2 simultaneously. To solve 1 and 2 simultaneously, this will cut this, remaining this. That is 2 brackets 3a is equal to 17 plus 1. 17 plus 1 is 18. Now, this 2 will divide this 18 here, remaining 9. So 3 to the power a is equal to 9. That means that 3 to the power a is 3 to the power 2 because 9 is 3 to the power 2. Since the bases are the same, I will take the powers. a is equal to 2. Now, let's go back to either equation 1 or equation 2 and then put the value of a value of 2 for a in equation 1 or equation 2 let's take equation 2 we have 3 to power a minus 2 to power b is 1 now a is 2 so i'll plug in 2 for the value of a there that becomes 3 to power 2 minus 2 to power b is 1 now let me um collect like terms 3 to power 2 is 9 then minus 1, this 1 comes here, equals to 2 to power b. 9 minus 1 is 8. And 8 is equal to 2 to power b. So I can express it as a um, number in base 2. That becomes 2 to power 3 is equal to 2 to power b. What happens here, here also happens here. That means that b is equal to 3. So my a is 2 and my b is 3 as the answer.